Her book has revolutionized professional practice. Her acclaimed framework has made teacher evaluation so much more specific and meaningful. And she is here to share her years of knowledge and expertise. In today's world of high stakes teacher evaluations, nothing will be left to chance. Charlotte Danielson has partnered with Educational Impact to create this groundbreaking online program unlike any you have ever taken before. It doesn't matter whether you are a first year administrator or one that has been evaluating teachers for 20 years, you will learn new techniques and strategies that will improve your evaluations and inspire your teachers to achieve distinguished levels of performance. I've been aware that ever since my Framework for Teaching book was first published in 1996, many schools and school districts, primarily in the United States, but also around the world, have found in it the foundation for their system of teacher evaluation. It's given them a common language to describe good teaching and an indication of what would count as evidence of teacher practice. With other programs, you'll get just a few hours of talking head video, but not here. The entire eight hours of video is packed with numerous opportunities for you to learn from Charlotte first, and then listen in as she observes and evaluates real teachers in the classroom. At the end of every module, you will get the opportunity to practice your newly learned skills by viewing and evaluating additional real classroom video. The entire process is scaffolded through guided and independent practice. The program starts with a powerful section on collecting evidence from a classroom observation. You will learn the critical difference between evidence and opinion, then watch on split screen as Charlotte collects evidence from a real classroom lesson. This first step ensures you will know how to collect the right kind of evidence and take specific notes. Next, you will challenge yourself by collecting your own evidence from a second real classroom lesson. Then, compare your notes with Charlotte's. And then she described it was minuscule, analyzed, mini, what does that mean, teeny weeny, and then taught the students the definition of minuscule. After you have collected evidence, you will have to interpret it accurately. For many, this is the hardest part. Are you struggling with assigning a teacher performance level for each framework component and wondering what the real difference is between basic and proficient or proficient and distinguished? Using straightforward language, Charlotte and two consultants from the Danielson Group walk you through a step-by-step -step approach to determine performance levels. You will also learn to identify the personal biases that may be affecting your judgment and how to diminish their impact. To further deepen your understanding of performance levels, you will get the incredible opportunity to view a real classroom lesson alongside Charlotte and hear her insight as she assigns performance levels to the lesson shown in the video. My thinking about the evidence here is that it um, uh, sits more at the basic level um, than the proficient level for those reasons um, of lack of differentiation that would take us to higher expectations. Yeah, and that's what I had it too. What about you, Connie? I had basic also. So there are a couple of elements here in 3A, of course. There's, there's the clarity of the learning, there's the clarity of directions and procedures for just what people are going to do, and then there's the use of language. Correct. And, and, and presentation of content. Um, I personally found this quite mixed. I found some evidence at the basic level and some at the proficient uh, level. Is there any other place you can get this kind of information or this kind of practice? Completing this section will give you confidence in your evaluation skills like you've never had before. But wait, there's more, way more. Now that you've evaluated performance levels, are you dreading that post-conference with your teacher? especially if the conversation may be difficult? Don't be that administrator that just goes through the motions without providing your teachers with anything meaningful. Learn from Charlotte the strategies and techniques that contribute to a great pre- and post-conference. Ordinary programs might provide you with a list of basic conferencing skills, 
but not this program. You will first see a 10 minute video clip on how not to conduct a teacher conference. You know, part of my job is to do evaluations mm -hmm. of teachers come in and do an observation, yeah. pre-conference observation, that kind of stuff. And they were actually due a couple weeks ago. Oh, I was wondering. Yeah. So, do you want to sit down and talk beforehand, go over what I'm teaching? I, uh, you know, I just won't have time. I have your evaluation written up. I, in, in all honesty, I had part of it written before the, the observation. I put you between basic and proficient because, you know, um, basic, your beginning. And that's what I told you guys at the beginning of the year, that probably you'd end up falling in that basic column because you're just beginning. If it was good, if you felt like it was a good feeling, why would you, can you explain that a little more well, clearly? Well, you, you need some room to grow. After hearing Charlotte critique the questionable conference, you will now see the conference done properly. By the time you finish the first half of the program, you will have developed a solid foundation of evaluation skills that will make a significant impact on your next teacher observation. In the second half of the program, the entire evaluation comes together. You get the unique opportunity to be the fly on the wall and watch the entire process. A real pre-conference. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. So I'm going to come watch you do some math today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Do you want to talk a little bit uh, about these questions I gave you last night? A full 30-minute classroom observation. Boys and girls, today we have Mr. Rainey in visiting our classroom. He's going to watch what we're doing and all the great learning we're doing. And he's also going to be observing me and how I teach you. So we're on our best behavior today. And the post-conference that follows the observation. Let's move on to the second one, establishing a culture for learning, which sort of dovetails on that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, how, how do you see yourself within the framework here? Um, I believe I create, I have high levels of expectations for my students. And, as always, the guru of teacher evaluation, Charlotte Danielson, will critique the entire process. Well, Paula, this was interesting. I'll say. This was really interesting. I think this was a perfect example or illustration of why the post-observation conference is so important, not only for the teacher to reflect, on, but for us as observers to learn about the teacher's practice. In the final three modules of the program, you will explore the topics of using a teacher portfolio to document professional responsibilities and how to facilitate an artifact party. I want to share a little bit about what the artifact party is. You know that I believe that the artifact should be a learning process for you. You will then learn how to tie a teacher's professional development goals to their evaluation results and how to evaluate and coach an underperforming teacher. To help your teachers better understand their role and the evaluation process, this program was specifically designed for both administrators and teachers. Once your teachers complete this program, they will no longer experience the common anxiety associated with evaluations and will be better prepared to accept the constructive feedback that comes through the evaluation process. You could spend a fortune on seminars, conferences, and consultants and never get the first-hand experience this program gives you. And while other traditional professional development is typically a one-day experience, this program is available to you all year long and can be easily blended with your face-to-face -face training. No other program puts you right into the heart of the entire evaluation process. It's going to lead to consistency, which we didn't have before because you had one trainer trying to train 19 districts and 17 charter schools and the message wasn't always the same every day. Now I can turn on Charlotte and the message is the same every day. So we really appreciate that. Still not convinced? Don't take our word for it. Call and get your 10-day temporary password so you can explore the entire program yourself. We know that once you view this one-of-a-kind resource, you will be convinced that this is a must-have for every teacher and administrator in your school system.